In today's exercise, we're going through exercise 1.17 from the Art of Electronics. In, in this exercise, we need to um, plot or sketch the response of a low-pass RC filter with two resistors and a capacitor. So firstly, we'll be calculating the Thevenin equivalent circuit and then um, calculating what the um, step response looks like. Let's get started. So exercise 1.17 shows you a circuit um, with a power supply with a step response, uh, step input. So that is a input that goes from zero to one and stays out one volt. Um, there are two resistors in series. So that's R1 and R2. Both of the values for the resistors are 10K. And then you have a capacitor, a 100 nanofarad capacitor connected in parallel with R2. So obviously we can calculate the step response of the circuit in a number of different ways. But one of the um, suggested methods in the book is to firstly calculate the Thevenin equivalent circuit. So that's what we'll be doing for this exercise. So if you imagine on this circuit here, your load will be connected to this part of the circuit here. So if you imagine a load resistor connected to this um, nodes here, so that's in parallel with R2 and C1. Uh, if you remove that load, um, basically make the load open circuit, so the circuit would look like what you see right now on the screen. Then you um, basically calculate the Thevenin equivalent voltage source, which is equal to your input which in this case is 1 volt, times by R2, divided by R1 plus R2. So that gives you your Thevenin equivalent voltage of 0 0.5 volts. Now to determine the RTH, firstly we need to determine the current going through the circuit, and then we can determine the Thevenin equivalent resistance. So the current through the circuit, we need to determine when the um, the load resistor that we are imagining across um, C1 is short-circuited. So if you short-circuit a resistor across here, then that basically means that there will be no voltage drop across R2 or C1. So essentially what you are doing is you're connecting this node straight to ground over here. So all of your input voltage will drop across R1. So to calculate the current, we basically do V1, so that in this case would be 1 volt, divided by R1, which is 10,000 ohms, which gives us a current through the resistor of 100 microamps. And using this current, we can calculate the equivalent Thevenin resistance, which will be equal to the Thevenin voltage divided by the current that we just calculated. So that's 0 0.5 divided by 100 microamps, which gives us an equivalent resistance of 5 kilo ohms. So now we can redraw this circuit um, using the Thevenin equivalent circuit, which basically tells us that we have a 0.5 volt step input and a 5k resistor in series with the C2 capacitor that we have in place. Now using this circuit here, we can calculate the step response of the circuit using one of the equations that's given to us in the book, which is this equation here. This equation basically tells you the output voltage and how that changes with time and how it corresponds to the resistance and the capacitance. So your output voltage is equal to your final voltage, so in this case, um, we've got 0.5 volts and in brackets we've got 1 minus e to the power of minus t over rc. So we, um, we can use this equation here to calculate the output response at a number of different points but your, um, your final voltage is going to be basically this um, at a certain time. What I've done is basically gone ahead and put this equation into Excel and plotted it against time. So you can see at zero seconds, 
we basically have zero volts across the capacitor. That's because the value of this will be equal to one. So you got one minus one. So your VF is times by zero. So that goes to zero. And as then as time is increased, you start getting closer to zero on this value. And then you're essentially timesing the final voltage by one and you end up at 0 0.5 volts. So that is the solution to this question. But what I'm going to do now is show you a circuit simulation to kind of show that, you know, this is accurate and that the Thevenin equivalent circuit that we've calculated is also representative of what we see here. So on the screen now, you have both of the circuits that I showed you on the presentation. So the first circuit over here is the circuit that is given to us in the question. And it's basically, we've got the uh, 10K resistors in series and the capacitor connected to R2 with a one volt step uh, input. And the bottom circuit is basically the Thevenin equivalent circuit with a 0 0.5 step input and a 5K RTH, so the Thevenin equivalent resistance. And that's connected to a uh, C2 capacitor that we have from the question. So what I'm going to do now is show you that both of these circuits are equivalent by running a simulation by, um, of 20 milliseconds. And I'll show you the inputs and the outputs from both of these graphs. So we can see the input on the first graph um, goes to one um, at one millisecond. So I've added a little delay in there. Um, stays at one for um, eight milliseconds and then goes back down to zero for another eight milliseconds and then goes back up to one. And that's the top circuit input voltage from V1. And then on the bottom circuit, we have the voltage source V2. This is the Thevenin equivalent voltage source. And we can see that it steps up to 0.5 volts at one millisecond, stays at 0.5 millivolts for eight milliseconds and we've got basically going down to zero all of this part of the output is not important so we'll just be focusing on um on this part as that's where our step response is going to be now um we've looked at the inputs um let me show you the outputs of the circuit so on the top circuit your basically your output response is in the red line here and on the bottom circuit, your output response is identical. So you can see it's gone perfectly over the red line. What I'm going to do now is basically shorten the simulation from 20 milliseconds down to 6 milliseconds so that you can better see what's going on. So you can see our Thevenin equivalent voltage here, source here and the, um, the voltage source that's given to us in the question. And um, you've basically got the output from the Thevenin equivalent circuit and the um, normal circuit on this graph here. They are both overlapping, showing you that they are equivalent. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below.